We're here at the Vienna Conference with Mark Ustoff from FIT Biotech. You gave a very interesting presentation this morning. We're asking you to kind of uh, give us the, the short take on that, that piece and things that people really want to know in the audience, people that want to know what are the, the basics of this, this program that you're putting forward. Yes, I mean, FIT Biotech is developing the DNA vaccine for the therapeutic use to treat the infected HIV patients. And uh, when we started our research, we uh, screened the whole literature and the work that has been done before. And we came to the conclusion that, uh, in fact, uh, the vehicle as such has to be improved to uh, present the viral antigens or as immunogens to the immune system of the infected patients. So we modified the vector and as a result of that our vector system is capable of producing order or even more uh, of the viral antigens to present to the immune system and the presentation, expression and presentation is targeted to the certain particular parts of the body therefore using the cross-presentation mechanism we achieve the situation that uh, immune response against the uh, viral infected cells is increased which is resulting in decrease of the viral infected cells, reduction of the viral load and improvement of the CD4 positive cells in the body, therefore improving the immunological status of the patients. So I would summarize my, my presentation this, this way. We have performed the clinical trial in South Africa and we have shown that uh, this is an effective, robust way to therapeutically uh, treat the, the, the HIV positive patients and therefore achieve the benefits for them without uh, taking uh, chemical compounds to uh, suppress the replication of the virus in the body of the patient. So the, the process by which you turn on the immune system, can you describe that a little more detailed? Is that possible without, for our audience, our lay yes, audience? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We are using regular uh, delivery of the, the vaccine, so it's a biojector delivery. So it is... Uh, That's the biojet. Biojet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So you, you inject that into the muscle, mm -hmm. and muscle cells are taking up our vaccine uh, plasmid. Mm -hmm. They express the viral antigens, mm -hmm. and now give that to the antigen-presenting cells, and now the immune response is activated. Mm -hmm. And that immune response takes care and controls the HIV virus by reducing the set point and improving the CD4 positive cell mm -hmm. status of the patients. Mm -hmm. So it's simple, it is straightforward, and uh, we need just to expand our study to the larger population, mm -hmm. to the wider uh, selection of the different viral isolates to prove that indeed the finding what we found in South Africa are backed up uh, in Caucasian population, in Asian population, so that it is really a uh, therapeutic vaccine to improve the, the health status of the human beings. So with whom would you use this and how, at what point in the, in the life cycle or I should say in the pathogenesis process would you use So it? when people have achieved the chronic phase of the infection. Mm -hmm. So acute phase is difficult to handle, there are no any clear indications of, of, of that one. But just a chronic, chronic phase. Well, After the viral set point. Yes, okay. exactly. Yeah. After that, and that helps people to lower the set point and live effectively uh, with a virus without uh, taking drugs. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, if we look on our body, this is a kind of ecological system. Of mm -hmm. course, there are our cells, mm -hmm. what Mother Nature mother and father one nice beautiful day I mean put together and created mm -hmm, us mm -hmm. but there are also many many viruses which live in our body mm -hmm. and the immune system is uh, following those keeping the balance and uh, we feel ourselves very well mm -hmm. for example we all or most of all uh, most of us are infected with the herpes virus like the Epstein-Barr virus herpes simplex virus type 1, herpes simplex virus type, type 2, uh, polyomaviruses, papillomaviruses. Mm -hmm. So th there are a, a whole list of the viruses who live in our body are under the immunological surveillance but mm -hmm. still allow us to function normally. Yeah, yeah. 
You can live with it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And this is what mm -hmm. the purpose of the therapeutic vaccination mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. Without drugs, I mean, you are functional. Mm -hmm. Of course, you have to be concerned of the transmission of the virus, and that comes to the education and knowledge of virus, virus is spreading. But basically, this is the way, in, in our understanding, what would benefit. I mean, it's not 100% cure, but there are 33 billion, million people in the world, I mean, who are infected. Yeah, we've got to do something now. Exactly, yeah, yeah. that's the point. So what is, it, what is your timeline on, on how you see this playing out? What are the things you don't know that you need to know yet and therefore have to do more research? Well, I mean, uh, it is important now to repeat the, the trial in uh, wider, 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 yeah, wider yeah. Uh, population. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, we would need uh, to put this vaccine into the 3,000 HIV positives uh, treatment naive patients in order to see, I mean, that we really can reproduce the same type of the, the mm -hmm. immunological response, lowering of the set point mm -hmm. and improval of the immunological status of the patients. And mm -hmm. after that, I believe the kind of the immunomodulator to our understanding. Of course, it is objective evaluation of the data and analysis and everything has to be important, but that's our belief mm -hmm. that this system uh, could help very much and reduce the cost and improve mm -hmm. the life quality of the, the infected people. Now, do you suppose there are people that would not respond to this and would then be needing to use the antivirals? I mean, that would be outliers. Yes, I mean, that, 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 that so, might be perfectly the yeah. case. I mean, that, so the opportunities saying. to actually say, let's see if this will work yes. as a, a more simple, less invasive, non-virologic approach. And then if we need to, we use the viral uh, approaches. Yes, that, exactly. OK. All right, well, this sounds very straightforward. I, I appreciate I wish we could have had more time with you, and I wish we could have seen your slides, but I, I presume that you've really done a pretty good job here. Well, yeah. I had the slides, I mean, and yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that was the full presentation. So we, we may make them available online. Yes, that, of that course. Was they we are do. In, yeah, yeah. In, in, in the appropriate folder. Right. I mean, so well, this has been so helpful. Thank okay. you for taking Thank that you. time.